Chapter 5 of Snake River The sound of rushing water roared louder and louder as the raft bobbed upon the currents. What is that roaring? demanded Anthony. It sounds like rough rapids coming up, Russell said feebly. Rough rapids? the foursome screamed. How rough? cried Leon. Man, I can't believe this, shouted Pia. Come on, you can do it, Russell urged the group. The raft approached the rapids and swayed from side to side. Mariella held on to Russell as the raft plunged down through the rush of raging white water. Huge waves swept them up and carried them down again. Then as quickly as they had come, the rapids died down into calmer waters. Hey, that was fun, gasped Anthony with excitement. It was like a roller coaster. Just delightful, groaned Pia, and all this water that got in the raft is a barrel of laughs too, right? How are we going to get the water out, asked Leon. Pia thought for a moment. Mariella, do you still have that container you were going to use for the mud? Pia asked. Yes, why? Mariella replied. Bail out, Pia ordered. I don't see why they call this course appreciating our environment, Mariella snapped. She began to scoop the water from the raft. Does anyone here appreciate our environment right now? I don't think so. It seemed as though the rain would never let up. Russell had passed out and there was no trace of a landing in sight. My arms are killing me, cried Leon. I can't paddle another minute longer. Wait, cried Pia. There's a sign on the left bank. What does it say? Quincy Landing, one mile, read Anthony happily. We're heading for the home stretch, you guys. But just when they thought they'd been through it all, their raft came to another grinding halt. Did we hit another rock, asked Mariella. Anthony leaned over and looked into the water. More like a dead tree stump, he said. This is just great. Water from the rapids was spilling into the back of the raft. The four rafters couldn't bail it out fast enough. Oh no, Anthony shouted. Look behind us. Coming straight at them was the large tree that had almost fallen on the raft before. Abandoned ship, screamed Pia. She and Anthony eased Russell into the water and jumped in after him. Frantic Leon turned to Mariella. I never got to tell you this, but I've always had a major crush on you. With that, Leon and Mariella plunged into the moving water. Anthony was the first of the crew to come back up. Then he grabbed Russell by his life jacket. He swam with his arm around Russell to the nearest riverbank. Mariella and Pia managed to swim to a nearby rock. They watched a tree crash against the raft, then float down river. The girls swam back to the raft. Where's Leon? Pia asked Mariella as they climbed in. Mariella screamed in horror. Leon was thrashing in the water by the raft. He gasped for air as the currents beat against him. His foot is stuck in one of the stump roots under the raft, Mariella shouted as, he jumped, as she jumped out of the raft. Pia chewed nervously on her nails as Mariella worked to loosen Leon from the branch. Finally, his foot was freed and he and Mariella climbed back into the raft. I can't believe you had a crush on me, said Mariella as Leon spit out water. That is so sweet. Although the raft was still stuck on the dead tree stump, they were happy to be safe. Pia called to Anthony, who was resting on the bank. Great, we only have one paddle. Just then, she spotted another one floating in the water. I'm going to make a jump for it, she announced, and she jumped in. Be careful, yelled Anthony. Pia swam a few feet after the paddle. Suddenly, a strong current took hold of her. The other rafters watched with dread as the raging water carried Pia away.